Well, guess what? What? This is Signature Glass of Wine, and it mm. has been a really, really long time. Yeah. How are you? I'm good. How I'm are good. all of you out there in YouTube land? Well, this morning, actually it's morning, so he's having... I'm having a Signature Glass of Orange Juice. <laughs> orange Juice with some brewer's yeast. And I am having, actually, I am not a kombucha person, and I have just started drinking kombucha, kombucha, and I'm really digging it. But the Synergy brand is the only one that I have found that is like totally awesome. This is their California Citrus, and I have to tell you, mm, She likes it. That, well, it's so darn refreshing. It is delicious. Anyway, so how are you? I'm good. I'm good. We've been, uh, what have we been? <laughs> Lazy. Lazy. Okay. Uh, we're fine, I think. We're pretty we good. Are. Things We've are been good. eating oh. some good food. We have been eating some good food. I'm doing some good cooking. And I have a small list here, and not in any particular order. Uh, health update. So I've had some people write and say, how are you doing? And I'm doing well. I still have my twice a month chemotherapy. And it's going well. It is. And my blood work, even though my blood work is skewed, right? It's not, it's holy. Mm -hmm. It's holy. So the doctor's very happy. I'm very happy. He's very happy. Um, as long as it stays the course and it doesn't go, we're, we're in good shape. So, um, gasoline prices. I'm going to mark, start marking this. And I guess off. ours are, are relatively good compared oh my to. Oh, God. We have relatives in California, and they're talking about six to seven dollars a gallon. We're paying five thirty-five here so. at Costco. Yeah, mm. and we take just regular. We're not. My brother uses um, super. I can't imagine what that must cost. God Almighty. Okay. He's got a what? Honey, I can't remember what he's got. It's not like a big whoop de do car, but no. he started using when they were doing all that traveling, and you, you know, I think once you use high octane or super you really can't go back can you i don't know i'm not a petrochemical well, what do uh, you know? engineer <laughs> oh well, now just wait a second <laughs> just wait a second well while you said that we're going to just go on to that topic oh. <laughs> so as you all may know if you've been watching jill for today and our signature glasses of wine we have a strip of property out here uh, that really runs the whole length of a number yeah. of our condominium buildings. It used a, to be a green belt. It did. used to be a green belt. Until an arborist who told us he loved trees <laughs> came in and leveled the whole thing. And we found out it was bought out by our local water department. And they are putting a... Pumping they, station. Pumping station there. Originally, it was going to be a pumping station and a fluoridation station. But they decided that was too much money, so yeah. they just... They said, Which uh, is yeah. wonderful yeah. for us. Yeah. So they've been digging and they've been pouring cement and they've been digging and all this stuff's been going on. And all of a sudden they disappeared and they took the equipment out of the, I mean, big equipment they took out. And so uh, the director writes, the guy who's kind of their liaison, their public figure, he says, what's going on over here? said, hope you are paying these guys by the day. <laughs> anyway, um, Apparently, ancient history, before our time, and we've been here almost 20 years, there was a gas station on that site. I think adjacent to a little mini yeah, mart. Yeah, this or was out like in that. the boondocks, yeah. you know. So, and the ground underneath it is contaminated. Oh boy. So, um, they brought in, you know, engineers and soil specialists and determined it was. Uh, polluted and so now they're going to have to take out the soil and bring in fresh fill and that's going to restart this week yes except they'd have already put in some of the fixtures the what they call access vaults they're big concrete vault things so i wrote them this morning and i said well gee mr engineer <laughs> let me just throw that in go ahead i said it seems to make sense that if the lot was polluted, it would also be polluted underneath the things you'd already installed. What are you going to do about that? So we're waiting to hear on that one. He's a very nice man. Oh, he is. He's very attentive. Oh, so yeah. they're supposed to start up. And of course, he said, we got a, like a, a big flyer that they send to everybody. Not 
not only the letter he got. Be ready I'm for not that special. Be ready for uh, loud noises. Be ready for dust. Be ready for vibrations. Well, when they started this project, they actually came through and put up vibration monitors. Right. I mean, they're really doing a first class job. Oh yeah, they came through our condo, and you know, inspected it for any cracks and stuff like that, so that you know, after the project starts or finishes, if you make a claim against them for any kind of damage due to vibration or whatever, they know what pre-existed and what was caused by the project. All right, speaking okay. of uh, gasoline prices. <laughs> so that was a quick segue. We had gasoline prices, and I wanted to address food shortages and price increases. I mean, it is staggering. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you one example is that we I he doesn't eat yogurt I eat yogurt and we buy the silk brand you know little cartons and about four months ago I was still uh, five months ago still buying it a dollar a carton right a carton and like in the last three months ish that is now popped up to a dollar eighty nine a carton beans that canned or uh, organic beans that we were buying 99 cents are now what was a dollar dollar 69 or something like that it's it's nuts and i have a friend in australia and they we in fact i said this cannot be right it absolutely cannot be right they are paying ten dollars for a head of lettuce iceberg lettuce ten dollars cucumbers are five five dollars a piece and I mean, we looked at some of these pr sweet potatoes. I mean, the price increases, it, it blows your mind. Yeah. Absolutely blows we've your mind. We've actually, um, you know, we've been trying to buy organic because of Jill's cancer. We just can't afford to anymore. Mm -mm. We're going to have to go back to... Uh, conventional. Yeah, conventional food, which means we'll shop at Winco, which is a low-cost grocery store. And that's fine. You know, I... I told him, you know, hasn't killed us so far. That's it, you know. So he's seventy-five, <laughs> almost seventy-six. Almost 76. And you know, we've been eating this way really all our lives, and I, you know, so we've been eating badly all our lives. But we're we're here. We're kicking. In the last six months, I'm proud to say, you know, yeah, we pursue have pursued a plant-based diet. And that means, other than naturally occurring cholesterol, yeah, which doesn't happen too often, zero grams of cholesterol have gone into our bodies. So yeah. hopefully our arteries are pleased. I know the environment is pleased, and all those little animals who haven't critters. died because we're not eating them have got to be pleased. So. Yeah. So we're, we're very, and actually we, uh, of course I, there was never been a big, never a problem for me. And, and he has adjusted so well, I cannot believe it. I mean, he, it, well, I'll tell you what it is. It's natural. I mean, we don't even talk about it. Like, oh my God, we're, no, it's just, it's natural. It's what it is and it's what it will be always. Let's talk about what's unnatural. <laughs> what is that, love? Life without TV. <laughs> oh yeah, big deal. Yeah. We're TV-less house. We don't have TV anymore. Oh. Um, a lot of factors went into it, you know, that uh, uh, expense was one thing, but uh, just we were spending our lives lazy, uh, sitting in front of that television, wasting our time. So now we're wasting our time reading books. No, that's not. I wouldn't say it's wasting our time. No, it's not wasting our time. But anyway, we got rid of the TV, and uh, we like it. We like it. There's the been house, a little withdrawal, the, but we like it. The house is happy. Oh, it's, so it's calm. It's serene. We uh, we subscribe to Spotify for ten dollars oh, a man. month, and you get it's the bomb. Hours and hours and hours of commercial free, all the best music, whatever you want. Yeah, and it's just terrific. It's peaceful around mm -hmm. here. I am reading, I am I have one of the e-readers, and I check out books from the library, and I'm going through uh, an entire book every two to three days, you know, when I have time to read, and yeah. it's just nice. It is nice. It's, it, um, you know, to, to go into the cocktail lounge, as, as you know, um, it's our uh, den, that thing isn't in there. 
it's it's not in there this big black thing is not in there and i don't know what it is i mean you know people say well you have just have discipline don't turn it on i know him and i know me and there is no way that that's going to sit there off it just isn't going to happen and so anyway we are very happy but when you walk through costco when you see mm. all those big screen tvs and the herds of uh of antelope or whatever antelope, whatever it is migrating across africa and, and you see the sharpness and the color and everything it's a little hard then but oh, and uh, you can pick up a lot of that on youtube but it is the big yeah. screen and we will miss miss some things we miss bosch mm. and, and uh, all creatures great and small and call the midwives but uh, that's the way it goes so. we're just we're very pleased with it Okay, um, speaking of the cocktail lounge, I'll tell you what, we bought, and we couldn't remember, it is the most horrible stuff, we wanted margaritas. And we've been trying to have like a special drink on Saturdays. Oh, shush, special drink on Saturday, cocktail kind of thing. She's you know? the big tequila person in our household. So we decided we were gonna have margaritas. And he brought home, and he didn't know, he didn't see the bottle, he brought home, you know, the Mr. and Mrs. T margarita mix. Well, they make a locale one now, skinny, they call it. There's very, I guess, almost no sugar in it, whatever. No taste in it. And I said, oh my gosh. And I said, well, that's wonderful. Done all the calories from that mix, you know. I want to tell you what, that was the most god awful stuff. First of all, foam, 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 foam. And it, there was no flavor to it, absolutely. It tastes like somebody took some lemonade, yeah. about a quarter of a bottle of lemonade, and just filled the rest away with water. And I am going, I couldn't contact them on Saturday. I'm contacting them today and saying, are you kidding me? I mean, and you spend good money for that stuff. I'll tell you what. I'll tell, tell you me. what. Tell me. Okay. What? All right. Um, I bought a loom. Now, I know many of you don't know, I have over the years had a floor loom, a big floor loom that I've woven on. I've done, I had quite a business at one point selling my hand wovens. And. Uh, about, 15, well, about 15, 20, 15 years ago, I was having such terrible back problems that I couldn't weave. And the, the room was just kind of overgrown with weaving stuff. You so know, bone mm -hmm. spurs in your heels. Yeah, so. you know, it was just not right. So we, I sold everything that was there. It was, the loom was so big. It was a gorgeous piece of furniture. It was black walnut. It was hand built by a gentleman we know. Uh, in Oregon City, and it was 60 inches wide, mm -hmm. and we actually had to select a house yeah. that would accommodate it. What well, we had what well, was one of the considerations when we moved. Not this one. So we sold it and everything that I had, books, all that stuff. Well, I've missed it. I have absolutely missed it since the day that loom left. I, uh, if, you know, I always say. I have two loves in my life, and of course this man is number one. Number two is the weaving. I it just, you know, so I said, you know, I want to, I don't care, I want to bring a loom back. And so I did buy a loom, and I've been weaving. It's taken me some time to get back into the rhythm. I just, you know, that I have forgot a lot. And I uh, am starting to weave again, and I'm very excited about that because I have missed it terribly. So the loom now we have—it's a much smaller loom. It fits very nicely in in the uh, office slash studio. And um, so anyway, that's a very neat, exciting thing. And I said to him, I said, "Well, I was one of the things I did that I sold literally hundreds of were kitchen towels because they're just amazing. I've got kitchen towels in my kitchen drawer that are." 30 years old yeah, and I don't baby them. I mean, I throw them in the wash, hot water, hot dryer. I mean, they're just, they're used. Anyway, they were very popular and I did sell, sell a lot of those. And now I'm making them more as like gifts. She's just about ready to take her first project off yeah. the loom. So. Yeah, so that's really exciting. Now, weather, what weather? Not here, <laughs> no weather. It has, this is the middle of June and it is still cold. The rain just keeps coming down, and our poor farmers are having 
a real problem. I think our strawberry crop is probably a dead deal because those fields out there are absolutely sopping wet. And the trees that have fruit on them, you know, apples and pears and peaches and all that, oh my gosh, there's no sun, there's no heat, and it's all rain. Now, he has said that we are supposed to hit a heat stroke, yeah, a heat spell. Yeah, next, next weekend, uh, we're supposed to, like, uh, Saturday and Sunday, something mm -hmm. like that, supposed to hit 89 and 92, respectively. So, and after that, we go into a pattern of 70s and 80s. Yeah. So, maybe summer is coming. I don't know. It doesn't seem like it so far, but... And, of course, this was the first year... I said, you know what? I'm going. I'm going full Monty. I'm going to put a garden on our deck, and we got tomatoes, we got herbs, and we got all this stuff, peppers, and all this stuff. And it is so confused out there; it does not know what to do. And I go out there, please, please, yeah. just hang on, hang on. We had a Traeger smoker out there, and because we don't eat meat anymore, there was really no reason for us to have a smoker, so we got it, got rid of it, and replaced it with pots, which we mm -hmm. filled with vegetable starts, some of which are doing grand, uh, others of which are... The herbs are real happy. Yeah. But the tomatoes, the peppers are doing really we well. We put out peppers, yeah, I'm going to have a massive crop of peppers <laughs> about that big, so... <laughs> Uh, but, oh. And we're going to have lots of cherry tomatoes, of cherry but tomatoes. the big tomatoes, I'm not so sure. About. I think we're going to get a blossom on there. But we have some herbs out there. Mm -hmm. The basil seems fairly happy. happy. I need to trim it back. So we can turn that into pesto. And finally, um, this last weekend, I we he's got kind of a, you know, I want to do this stuff kind of thing. And we pulled down our box of memorabilia, which is, of course, all photographs, special things, um, that you know you have and you keep holding on to and holding on to. So we pulled it down and we spent the good part of the day going through all these photographs, through uh, high school uh, yearbooks. Yeah. Uh, I graduated from high school almost 60 years ago, 58 years ago. I still have the yearbook. Yeah. I mean, a lot of the people who were friends are dead now. Um, Passed away. Passed away. Passed away. Gone yeah. on. Uh, and uh, most of the people, there were 750 people in my graduating class. I didn't know. I didn't associate with. I have no desire to go to reunions. You know, I didn't hang with those people when I was in school. Uh, why would I want to do that now? Uh, so I threw away my high school yearbook. Yeah. I, I did keep some stuff from... Uh, you know, some uh, memorabilia from my father in World oh, War right. II. Oh, right. We, we, kept, stuff we, like we did toss a lot. We tossed a lot of photographs. A lot of photos. A lot of photos. Yeah. We kept the ones that were really important. Um, and I think, you know, the thing, we, we don't have children. So we don't have like, oh. We don't have children? No, we don't have children. Oh. We don't have children. So, you know, we have nobody to leave this stuff to. And, and nobody really wants it. And we haven't looked at it in 45 Forever. years, you know. So you have to say, why Why am I just toting this around and hanging on to the box of it? So it was nice to kind of go through it and say, oh, gosh, you know. And then at the end of the day, you say, why do I have this picture? I have 20 pictures of a whale watching trip. Do I really need 20 pictures of this whale? Okay, keep one or two because that you know, it'll remind you if you ever decide to go back in the box. Anyway, we did that. We felt very good about purging a lot of that stuff. And so we're starting now to kind of go through items that we feel like it's time to purge. We're actually thinking about uh, sending the photos we have to one right. of these services that will scan them and put them on a uh, oh. zip drive mm -hmm. or whatever they call it. Um, and that way, you know, you go from this big box to a little zip drive and just clean some stuff out. We've got stuff around here that we haven't looked at or uh, used in 10 years. And you know how it is. If you've been in a home for you know a while, there are things in crammed in cupboards and closets, and you know you just have to say, okay, today's the day. I'm getting in there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take control. We had to take a little pause there because we were waiting for a phone message and we got it. So we apologize. Anyway. That's it. We're just going to go start going through all the stuff and kind of cleaning out the garage mm -hmm. and all these places that need to do it. Okay, I think that's enough. Yeah, we're still not going anywhere. No, we're nowhere. Doing anything. N95s. Um, 
you know. Uh, we do take a little shopping, grocery shopping trips off hours when it's quiet, and we get in there and we get out. Yeah. That's it. With uh, with her health, we're not taking any chances because, as, as you know, if you follow the news, people who are fully uh, vaccinated, fully boosted, are getting COVID, and it's possible to get COVID two, oh, three times. Horrible. So we're we're just being careful. Jill is about to have her ninth, ninth COVID shot. Yeah. She had two before the stem cell transplant, which disappeared. And then she had the three, which equated to the two that, that everybody else gets. Then she had two special shots, which jack up your immunity against COVID. And then she's had one booster, and now she's going to have her second booster. So she's... Uh, one of the most uh, I'm boosted, baby. boosted people in the United States anyway. so. Well, it was good catching up. I know this was really long, and I know there was a lot of stuff in there. They used to go, let's just get through this one. I don't, I don't care what they're talking about. That's why they invented Fast Forward. That's it. But we're awfully happy that you joined us. And if you're new to the, the, our community, welcome. And we hope you hang around. Some of them are better than this. But we haven't done a signature glass of wine in a really long time. And we had some people say, are you guys okay? We, you know, so we, we said we need to get back into them. It's just been, we've kind of been um, down. Not down, down. I mean, it's been kind of. There's been a lot going yeah. on. And, and we have been a little. You know, a lot of changes going on mm -hmm. right now. That, yeah. Uh, well, thank um, you all for showing up. We appreciate it. And and Joe will be continuing to make lots of good food on Jill for a day. I'm trying to remember because everyone thought it was so funny. And and we are so happy that you. I got it now. And we are so happy that you are on this wacky wacky thing we call. Are you kidding me? Life? Life! Oh. I didn't know whether Jill Ferdinand oh. might be the correct answer. So. Thanks a lot, everybody. We love you. Take care. We'll see you soon. Stay safe. Stay safe. Bye-bye.